Hi, this is Thomas Shepard, and this screencast is a part of the MCAS project at Athabasca University. In this session, we're going to continue on from the tutorial, the last tutorial we had, where we imported some audio in a song called Rocket, and we basically used a fade out effect to match it up with our intro, and our intro kicked in around uh, a little less than 15 seconds, and we started talking, and it would the noise level from the or the volume of the music would decrease to nothing by the time we're finished and we did that by aligning it up with the time shift tool like that now we're gonna go down and we're gonna line the rest of our tracks up and we're gonna do our closing and we're gonna put our uh, same music in for our closing only this time we're gonna do the reverse we're not gonna have it fade out we're gonna have it fade in so let's do that first we're gonna unmute those two we're gonna use the time shift tool right here we're going to grab it and line these up so that uh, each track, our intro, our content, and our closing plays one after the other. So let's just have a look at what that sounds like, or have a listen, should say. Have a play there. At Athabasca University, in today's podcast, we are going to talk about audacity and recording a very simple... So that looks pretty, sounds pretty good from intro to content. Now from content to closing, let's see what that sounds like. Okay, I'm just going to click here. Got some content and a closing. Thank you for listening to our podcast. Well, that sounds pretty smooth going from one section to the other, so that's not bad. So let's finish this off by having uh, our audio fade in as we're making, me doing our closing. So let's import the audio again. Let's pick Rocket. It's going to uh, put it into a track. You see two of these here, left and right, because it's a stereo track. Now, we're going to take our time shift tool. We're going to move this down. And what we're going to do is we're going to match it up with our closing. We want it to play when our closing is done. Now, I can't really see for sure if I've got it lined up. So what I'm going to do uh, is I'm going to zoom in a little bit. And I'm going to make sure that uh, I have it properly. It looks good. Now, I want it to fade in. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this music and I'm going to highlight it and by the time I finish I want it to hit full volume so uh, I've highlighted that section that I want to apply the effect to I go to effect I'm going to go to fade in and you'll notice it does the reverse of what we did up in the track uh, up here so in the track up to our intro we had it fade out down in our closing we're having it fade in now let's see what that sounds like Thank you for listening to our podcast. You can find our podcast on iTunes. And I want to thank everybody for listening. Have a nice day. That sounds good. Now, I don't want the music to play forever. So what I want to do is I want to cut it off at a certain point. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this part and I'm going to apply the fade out again so it fades to nothing. And usually you use your, your seconds up here to, to, to basically distinguish where you want to cut it off to. I'm just going to end it at 45 seconds. Usually your, your audio is a lot, uh, and podcast are a lot longer than that. We're going to go here to the effect, and we're going to go to fade out. And what fade out does, it lets us fade to nothing. So we're going to take the rest of this track, all right, rock it, and we're going to just highlight it. And we're going to delete it. Now, what I should have done there is I should have zoomed out a bit. But I wanted to see what the music was like. So let's have a look. Or should I say listen. Here we go. For listening. Have a nice day. Now, it ended a little bit too quick. So I could have taken a little bit more and, uh, and adjusted it. But it's not too bad. Um... Right now, we've got our podcast or our audio track done. So, in the next tutorial, we'll show you how to take your uh, podcast or your audio program and basically export it as an MP3 file. Thank you for listening to our tutorial. And if you have any qu comments or questions, please email me at tomshep at uh, gmail.com. That is T O M S H E P P at gmail.com. Dot com. Thank you for listening.